Hi there, once again welcome to Adiotech. I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing church flyer using Photoshop. So this is actually a blend of background image and ingredients. So I'm going to show you how to do this in a bit. So stay tuned for this. We're actually not going to include, include the image of a pastor on this, but I'm going to show you how to do that in another video. So let's look at how we can create this. I'm bas I basically focus on a size that will fit on whatsapp status and dps as well so i'm going to show you how to do this in a bit so let's start so i'm first going to create the background and in order to do that i'll go to my file and go to new and i'm going to set my background to 20 by 20 inches this background fits so well to what whatsapp dps and then status so i think this is a size i've already set and it's not my default size and the resolution is going to be around 400 because i want to have a quality image okay or a quality flyer so once everything is set 20 inches and then for the height and then the width and then i'll go for 40 resolution the background is going to be white and i'll click on what create so this is our background and you can see this is our final work and all we need to do is now to focus on our design so the first thing we need to do is to give a background gradient so you can see we have a blue gradient for the background and i'm going to do that and i have my main background over here. in order to do that i'll just double click on this mostly i remove my lock first and then i go back to what double click again so once i'm done with that when i double click i'm going to have my layer style and i just click on gradient so when i click on this gradient i'll choose any gradient of my choice and i'm going to focus on a gradient here when i click on this gradient this is what i'm going to use for my design so you can basically pick any gradient of your choice i downloaded some of this gradient online and you can equally do that for your design so i'm going to focus on this gradient because of the logo of the church it contains some more blue so i want to at least blend everything so this is the background gradient we're going to use so i'm not going to do any modification to this grid i'm going to leave it as it is and if i come back here to my file this is the files we're going to use and this is my final work the logo of the church the background image the zoom logo and i have some sparkle over here which i downloaded from online you can also do that as well so this is the final work the next thing we're going to do is to bring this particular background image okay but before that i'm going to bring the logo of the church and then before that then after that then i can bring my what background image so in order to bring the logo i can just go to my working folder and it can be any logo at all just drag this onto your whatsapp uh, just drag this onto your photoshop this way or i can di drag it direct onto your design so i can just drag it back onto my design and just just position it well just drag in like this in order to reduce the size of the logo then just hit enter and we cannot position it anywhere at all we want okay so we have this here position if you can see from here i place it on top of my church name or you can just position at the center so anyhow you want to do it so the name of the church will not follow okay you can see over here this is a text and i use calibri bow to write this that's the gospel light church uk so you can decide to write this and for the sake of time i'm not going to write this normally you have to use a type tool here and then click and type so i just have to copy this and then come back here with my type tool selected click and then i'll paste it here okay so i'll just position over so it's no more typing that you need to do it's not any big deal in order to go about this so i just position this here and the next thing is what presents and maybe that one i can type it for you to see it's also going to be like this so i just click on my type tool click on this and then type present i want the first letter to be in caps so what i need to do is i'll go to my character over here at the right hand and you can see that's all caps are on so i'll just click on this and check this and then my first letter is always going to be caps okay and this i'm going to change it to from calibri bow to italic okay light italic so okay, something like this and i'm cool with that okay so the next thing we need to do is to i'll show you how to type this that's a praying into 2022 and that one we need something a bigger font a font that will make everything look maybe amazing so we just click on the type tool again and i'll type and then i'll type what i'll click and then type pray something like this and i'll just highlight everything and then increase the font size 
I'll increase the fold size to somewhere, somewhere around 48, which is too small. I can just go back to my move tool and then drag at the edges of my text, drag outside, and then my font is going to enlarge my font for me. I'll just hit the enter key just to confirm that. So it's going to transform this text for me. And remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials okay so once this is confirmed i really want to use an amazing font you can see the font i use so i'm going to show you the font exactly so i have to select this and i'm going to change the font once this is selected i'll go back to my font and i'll select a font called Hallis. so when i select this font you can see how amazing this font is looking and i just have to change the color to something yellowish okay I want something visible you can see from here so when i go back so when i go back here with this selected i'll go back to my color at the top over here and then pick something more yellowish okay pick something yellowish or even if you choose to use a gradient for this you can use a gradient i think my design was a gradient so i can just double click from the layer panel double click on it and then i can give a gradient to this particular background so you can see a selected gradient you can see it automatically pick my background gradient which i'm not going to use i want something that will appear a bit yellowish okay so you can see i have several backgrounds that i can gradient of the background to a yellowish color so I'll select the gradient from the list So I'll stick to this gradient and then I'll again enlarge my right up a bit. So I'll wait for this to transform and then I'll give it a shadow. I'll give the shadow to the right up. Okay. So I think I'm okay with this and I'll just double click again. Now go to my layer store and then give a shadow to this. I'll increase the opacity of the shadow to around 70 and I'll increase the size a bit, the distance also a bit and the spread to around 21. Okay, so this is now okay and the next thing I'm going to do is now to bring my background image. So you can see from here we have some background image over here depicting what the fly is about, that's prayer. So I'll go back to my working folder and there's the image I used and I'll just drag it onto Photoshop and then before I can move it to my layer I have to first unlock it so I'll just double click on the layer background and then click OK I cannot drag this onto my design here so this is it I just have to enlarge it by dragging out and then position it on top like this and I'll click on the check button over here or just hit the enter key on your keyboard okay so now this image is above my right up so in order to bring it below i just have to come to my layer panel and then drag it below just above my main background so you can see my, now my right up is on top of my image and i'm going to change the blend mode of this image to overlay so with my background image selected i'll go to my layer panel or go to normal and switch from normal to what overlay so you can see automatically it has blend with the background so what i need to do is that i'm not going to blur part of this image you can see from a final design that this image the edge is not looking sharp i'll blend actually blur the part of this image so i'm equally going to do the same thing before i do that i have to get a copy of this image so when i press ctrl j on my keyboard it's going to give me a copy and i'll turn one off in case i made mistake with one i can easily fall on the second one so now i'll go to my eraser tool with my eraser tool selected i'm going to have my brush this way and you can see from the top you can do some modification the hardness of this brush needs to be zero percent and you can increase the size to any wall in this size that will be okay for you i'll leave my own around 306 
and it's still too small and you can still enlarge this and i can use my square bracket on my keyboard the right one to actually increase it so when i increase it to that's around 2600 that'll be okay and then i can now focus at the bottom part of my image and then blur so you can see what is happening once i click at the bottom part of this image it will actually blur it and that's exactly what i want to do so i'll blur those part of this image and i think it's okay up to this stage if we compare this to the final work we've done you can see that it's almost the same so this is the final work and now we can go ahead and then type the rest of our text so now we need to we need to type into 2022 so we just type it and then position is good for our text to and then i'll type into in this case i want just the first letter to be in caps so we just go to our character and then change or switch off all caps and then we cannot type and just make the first letter caps this way and then i'll just enlarge this i'll change it from bold to somewhere light that's a calibre font so i'll just enlarge this a bit by dragging to the right i think this is okay and i can i cannot move it by selecting my move tool that's the first tool just move it to around this place and i think this the position is now okay so you can see from here what we are doing is already taking shape and we cannot go ahead and type the next text that is 2022 just click anywhere and type 2022 and we're going to change the font to impact so that font will make everything very bold so we're going to select impact this way we're going to select impact and then we can now enlarge this okay so i think this is okay now and then i'll just position it just after the into okay so when you select any text it would like to transform that text especially when the text is very large you just have to allow some time then that text will be transformed okay so i'll just move this one back a bit and i want by praying to be on top of the 2022 so i just have to come back to my layer pan and drag it on top of that i'll drag it on top of 2022 so you can see some blue line thick line just drop it on top of that you can see now we have the prayer praying on top of the 2022 and we'll go ahead and then bring our team now so the team is new beginning and it's straightforward it's just a write-up so i don't want to prolong this video so i just have to copy this again and then just paste it right here click anywhere and then just paste it then you can use your move tool to just reposition it if you want to type just use your type to select and then select anywhere you want to change the color and do a modification to that and for my text as well that's isaiah 43 19 i also just drag it use your move tool and then just drop it just below your main team and then for the time i'm going to type that because i made some bit of modification to that i use some bevel and then ball so i'm going to use that here so i'm going to type so it's starting from that's 29th to 31st so i'm going to type that i'm going to type 29th this way you can see from the right up everything is in caps so in order to do that once i have to select everything go to my character and then turn on all caps and i can enlarge this a bit and i want to make the the th a subscript so i'll just click on it from here you can see from my character man that's a superscript so i'll select the superscript for that select it this way and then we can now use the bevel and the emboss so you can see there's some shining appearance to this particular text so we can equally do the same thing over here i'm going to enlarge it a bit increase the font and now at the layer panel just double click on the 29th and i'm going to click on 
bevel and then emboss this way and then we change the style from inner bevel to emboss and we increase the depth a bit to around let's increase around 500 or can just go ahead and just type 500 over there the size also will increase the size to somewhere around we'll make the size 70 and the softness will increase a bit to around six okay so that is what we want to do and then gloss contour will change it to just the second at the second row so just click on that and it will make it something like a silver to give some silver appearance to that okay so you select that and just click on ok so if you compare this to our final we can see it's almost looking the same so you can now use the move tool and just reposition it any way we want so we want the second one that's the 31st we don't need to do the same process we can just duplicate this get a copy of this so with this selected you can press the alt key on your keyboard just drag it and it's going to give you the same copy of that and then we just have to select our type tool click and then change it to what 31st and then the fifth tool we can just change it to what first this way okay so comparing this to our final design you can see it's almost taking shape and then we're going to add a tool so before that i put a circle between that so i use the eclipse tool so you go to your shape tool you just have to pick eclipse and then just draw some white shape this way change the background to white so you can see with the fill color we switch it to white this way and we're going to type the word two on top of this and this also is having the bevel and the emboss you can see i've applied that to the circle as well you don't need to go to the same process just select any of the dates it's already having the bevel and emboss right click on it from the layer panel and then click on copy layer style so we come back to our shape with our shape selected at the layer panel just right click and go to a paste you can see it's still going to have the same effect compared to the rest so we now go ahead and then type the text on it that's two and this is going to be i'll use use a darker color for this because it's going to be on white and it will appear color it will appear better when it's dark so just have to use my move to or you have to resize it this is too big so you just have to resize it hit the enter key with your move to selected to just wait for this to transform okay so with our move to selected or you can just use your arrow to your arrow to position it or you can just drag it on top of that so you can see we have now 29th to 31st and then the next thing we're going to do is to be December 2022 so we're going to type that just click anywhere and then type December so this is going to be short from 2021 and this color is going to be yellow just so select you just have to select everything and then change the color to yellow you can select your prayer color the color you can use use your eyedropper to so your color panel open you can use your eyedropper out to, to pick any color of your choice now just click on ok and then change the color change the font from regular to bold and then i will enlarge it a bit okay so i'll just hit enter and then reposition this you can see we have something very similar now and I have some lines just below the main heading and then also the date so in order to do that you just have to go to your shape panel and then you can just use rectangle tool and just drag it below your main topic and then you change the fill color to white okay once you are done to, from the layer panel right click and then rasterize that particular shape and then we can use the same eraser to to blend the edges so once you select that just click on the edges it's going to blend the edges of this particular shape okay you can increase the shape a bit and then once you click on that to blend the edges for you okay so the next thing we need to do is to get a copy of that layer so you can see you have two of that the second one 
you just have to duplicate the first one with your layer selected you just press ctrl g on your keyboard and then you get a copy of that you can use your arrow key your down arrow to just move it below the first date that's the 29th to 31st okay once you are done the next thing we need to do is to bring us the second one that's the second january 2022 we don't need to write this from the beginning we just have to drag this down that's the first date that's the second january so we just have to change this to en and just position it anywhere you want just wait for this to transform So we just have to copy this as well. That's December 2022. Just hold down Alt, drag, and it will give you a duplicate of that. And then now we can just go ahead and type January 2022. So just select the December and change it towards January, comma, then 2022. Okay. So I think we are almost set, and we're going to bring the end. That's the symbol. So just press that, select that, or type that on your keyboard, and then can change the color to whatever you want and then you can position it so i'm going to use with my move to selected i'll just position it right before the end okay so we're going to go ahead and then now bring a white background and then we can put our zoom details on it the zoom id and the password so i'll go to my shape to again select rectangle to drag it I'm going to give it a white background, change the fill color from blue to white this way and just position it and I'm not going to type this, the zoom ID, I'm just going to drag this so you can easily type that with your type tool, I'll drag it on top of this and then I'll just position it right here, I'll reduce the layer a bit, the layer background and then just click on the check or hit the enter key and i'm going to bring my zoom icon i can easily drag it from here but it's part of my working folder this is my zoom icon so i can just drag it on top of my photoshop this way and let me just close some of the images that i've opened so i can have just fewer space so i just have to drag this now to my main layer and then just put it beside your zoom details okay the next thing we need, we need to do now is to bring the date that's the time that is 8 p.m uk time and that's i'm going to use my eclipse tool with my eclipse tool selected i'll press the shift key in order to get a perfect shape down here and i'm going to change so make sure you press shift before dragging and lift and then you just leave your mouse click then you change the fill color to what white okay so we just position this here and then you just have to go ahead and then type so i'm going to close this as well i just type the 8 pm uk time you can just type that for the sake of time just going to drag this and then drop it on top of this and then i also drag the second one that's the uk time on top of this as well below the 8 pm and the final thing we're going to do is to bring that's the details the email and then the website and then the contact details i want it to appear better so i'm going to draw a rectangle background here i'm just going to use the rectangle to draw a white background below the image change it to white the fill color to white and i'm not going to type that it's straightforward you can easily type that so i'm going to drag everything and then just move it there so i just move my email and the website and just drop it here as well as the contact so i'll drop or drag the contact as well you need to subscribe to this channel if this is the first time visiting my channel and if you're a new member as well like and share this video so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to draw a line just 
between the two just to separate them so i'll go back to my rectangle to draw a line here and then i'll change the background to dark or maybe i can just stick to the blue color because it's very tiny line so it may not be deep for people to see so i'll just reposition this i think i have to change my line to dark color just double click on it go to the layer panel double click on the rectangle you and then change it change it to dark just draw it and then now we can rasterize that in order to blend the edges so i just right click and then go to rasterize and then i'll blend the edges with the eraser tool selected click on the edges and then it to blend the edges and the last thing we're going to do is to bring we're going to bring our shapes that we have some icons that's for the email half icon associated with that i've actually downloaded some icons online that's social icons you can equally do that and use them so if i search for my social icons on my pc i can easily open that and use them anywhere i want to so this these are my social icons in this folder if i want to use any of them i just have to drag them onto my working space so I want something related to websites and I can use this one I can just drag this onto Photoshop and then I can use it so this is what I'm going to use over here let me just close few of my images again so I can just drag this to my design so I'll drag this to my design here and this about website so I'll drop it here you can see where just before the website address I will enlarge it a bit so I can just zoom in for you to see so you can see what exactly is happening so when I zoom in this way you can just position this position this and I can change the color to something else so just double click and change the color to you can just go with not too red just like something like tomato color and we'll get the rest for the email as well so i'm going to go back to my shape and then get something for my email so I'll go through my icons and i can easily use this for email so I'll just drag it back to my design drop it here just below my email and i think it appears over here over here and then i'll drag it inside in order to reduce the size drag this inside this way and i'll change the background color to the same as the one i use for my website okay so you can see automatically i go to color value and then it's going to pick that and then finally we're going to pick the last one for our contact so we just go through our shapes again and search for something that will be good for contacts okay something that will be good for contacts contact so just get something relating to phone contact so i can see we have some nice one over here just drag it back onto our design and then just reposition it before the contact just reposition it before the contact and then just click on the check back icon here and double click on it from the layer panel and select color value and automatically it's going to pick that color so when you zoom out a bit let's just zoom out and you can see our final work now you can move through this and you can see we've actually designed this first thing we're going to add will be the sparkle so you can see i have some sparkle some shining sparkle below my brain into 2022 so that's the last thing we're going to add just below this and in order to do that if I go back to my working folder, that's my working folder right here. You can see within my files, I have, for, I have a sparkle over here. I just have to drag it on top of my design, my layer this way. And then I just have to wait for some time to confirm. So you can see this is my sparkle right here. And then I have to put it just below my right up. I have to reduce the size a bit. So I reduce the size a bit and then just position it just position it below my right up okay just have to reduce it a bit just have to have just a small sparkle below my right up 
so let me just zoom in use my move tool and then just just move it just below the prayer and then when i zoom out now you can see we have a sparkle just below just below the praying so that is exactly what i want to do okay